Hello, my name is Mooing Cat and welcome to a very interesting video. As you can see, I am currently playing on my phone with Foey Helper installed. I am able to do negotiations with the negotiation helper and I'm also, perhaps more importantly, able to do the event with the event chest selection helper. This uh, simple tool here allows you or tells you which of the options is the best each round and really helps you speed up the selection, making sure you always pick the best option each time. Now, as you will be able to see in a moment, outside of these two things, this is not going to work very well. You will definitely not be able to use Foe Helper uh, this way on a regular basis for regular everyday Foe things. Uh, you can use it a little bit for things like the 1.9 helper, but it's not going to work well. Uh, so the main thing I would install or do this for is to uh, do the event to get the event uh, chest selection helper. Uh, that's the main thing I would install uh, this for. Uh, when it comes to the installation itself, uh, the installation is quite uh, simple and easy. I'm going to go through that step by step. But once you have it installed, it's quite tricky to use. Uh, but for the event chest selection helper itself, it's not that difficult. It's more difficult for other parts. So let me go through how I installed it. If I am using a browser for my Android phone called the Kiwi browser. Uh, I do not think that is available for uh, iPhone, uh, but you can do the same using the Yandex browser. And I'll show that towards the end, but right now I'm going to use the Kiwi browser. And some of the steps after installation will be the same for Yandex as well. So, go to your Play or App Store. Uh, search for the Kiwi browser and download it. This is a Chromium based browser. Uh, so kind of behind the scenes, it is the same as the Chrome browser, uh, but it has a different look and some different uh, features that we'll be using today. Now the main feature we'll be using is the ability to download and install Chrome apps. Uh, so this way we are able to download and install the Foe Helper app made for Chrome directly in the Kiwi browser. Really simple, just as you would do it on your Chrome browser. So simply search for Foe Helper, uh, open it and add it to the browser. Now the next thing you need to do is to enable desktop site. If you don't do this, when you go to the game site, you will automatically be directed to the Play Store. So when we enable the desktop site, the browser will act as a regular uh, desktop browser. Uh, so you will get the desktop login instead of being directed to the Play Store. So when you come here, you need to log in as usual. And this is exactly the same as you are familiar with from the browser game. Now, if you're a phone only player, you're perhaps not familiar, but you simply log in, cl click the play button, and then select your world. Now, when you log in, you will notice two things most likely, depending on how good your phone is. First of all, things are very laggy. And also you'll notice that the Foe Helper bar is on the right side, taking up quite a bit of space on the screen. Uh, I haven't been able to test this on any other devices because I only have my phone. Uh, but I imagine this will be very similar for most of you. Uh, but if you have any different experiences with this, please share that in the comments because I would be really interested to know. Now the next step is to move the uh, full helper bar so that it is vertical along the right side of the screen. So this is a little bit fiddly, but you need to find the uh, cogwheel, the settings option. Uh, for me, uh, this was two pages to the right. So click that, then you go to general menu position and you change the menu position to right. Uh, the game will reload and you'll notice that now the game is in full screen and you have the bar on the right. 
Uh, for me on my phone, I'm not sure if this will be different for you, uh, but in portrait mode, uh, my click is offset from where I'm actually pressing on the screen. Uh, so it's very hard to use, uh, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Uh, but when I have it in landscape mode, then my clicks are accurate, and that's the ones I'll be using for uh, both for the event quests, if I need negotiation helper there, or for the event uh, chest selection helper. Uh, now, you can also use this for 1.9, but it's very difficult. I would rather just I know, use a separate app. There are some separate apps. Very simply, quickly go out of the game, you uh, copy the values and then go back into the game. That's easier than using the Foe Helper for this, I think. Now, when it comes to the Negotiation Helper, as you can see on my screen, I'm not able to see the entire negotiation window. I imagine this will be different depending on your screen size, but at least for me, I'm not able to see the entire window. Uh, now, you can't change that through the game, but what we can do is that you can use Foley Helper, the Foley Helper window, to uh, zoom out a little bit. So, what you can do is that you can drag the Negotiation Helper window to the right of the screen. It will zoom out uh, things a little bit. You will see some uh, black uh, bars on the side, uh, but this will allow you to see the entire negotiating window. So, this is one thing you could use it for. Uh, but the main thing is for the event chest selection helper and luckily this one works much better. Uh, you simply click on the event, it will pop up and you can move it around depending on where you want it. And you can use it, it's as simple as that. Now this will be a little bit laggy uh, def <laughs> depending on your phone, how good that is. On my phone it's quite laggy as you can see. Uh, but it is working very smoothly, uh, and it's definitely better than, or quicker than calculating everything like that yourself. Uh, so yeah, very, very nice for uh, using the event chest selection helper. And one thing you might have noticed is that the screen itself is black. And I'm not quite sure what that is uh, all about. I've tried three different browsers. And all of them, basically the same, you uh, log into the game, uh, the, uh, the HUD works uh, well, or works, uh, the event works, everything like that works, uh, but the assets for the city and everything like that is not loading. Now, I'm not an expert on mobile phones or mobile browsers, so I'm not sure what the problem is and if it's possible to fix this, or if it's uh, simply something uh, with how the game is loaded. Uh, so, but if you do know how to fix this, please let me know. Uh, but even if it was able to fix it, and I know it is possible because the Puffin browser uh, does work, and that works quite well, and will allow you to uh, play kind of normal, but from personal experience on my phones at least, uh, which I've been the most powerful, but for me Puffin has been uh, even though it's been okay, it has definitely been much more laggy than the uh, phone app, uh, which is understandable. So, so yeah, but the problem with the Puffin browser uh, is that uh, you can't, or as far as I know, you can't install uh, the uh, Foe Helper. So that kind of defeats the points of this video. But yeah, if you know how to fix this, please let me know in the comments. I would really like to learn more about it. Now I did mention that if you are on iPhone, the Kiwi browser will not be available, at least that's how I understand it, you can always check if it is available. Uh, but an alternative is to use the Yandex browser, uh, that worked uh, well for me as well, uh, although it did behave kind of <laughs> weirdly for me. Uh, I do believe it's a Russian app, uh, it's defaulted to Russian in language. Uh, but it's easy enough to uh, just uh, you know, Google Foe Helper and, and install it. You don't really need to understand what it's saying uh, in order to do that. So it did work well uh, and it is available on iPhone so you should be able to use it there. Uh, but yeah, it might be a Russian, I don't know. Now after installing the browser it's exactly the same. You install Foe Helper, 
and then you enable desktop mode and enter the game. So yeah, that's it. Uh, that's how to install and use the Foe Helper for some very specific uses on your phone. Again, this is not great for daily use. <laughs> you will definitely not be able to use it for that. Uh, but who knows, perhaps uh, if some of you know some ways to improve this, perhaps there's another browser I don't know about, uh, perhaps there are some settings that I don't know about. Uh, so if you know more, please again leave a comment. Uh, but yeah, I think I will leave it there. Hopefully this will be helpful uh, completing the EVS, uh, event and uh, getting uh, the best out of your ingredients. Uh, so yeah. Before I end, I want to thank my lovely patrons. I would like to thank Homestar as well as Merrick B, PQ the Goat, Arkler and Sabathiel, as well as Rocco and Henrik der Erklerver. Thank you all very much for your support. If you want to support me, the link is in the description. Take care, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the future.